Hey, this is Matt Whitmer from Brady Precision. In this video, we are taking a look at an issue that's come up a bunch over the last few months in our T-Support email address, and that is the um, disabling or turning off of the text or email to text gateways at most of the cell carriers. Specifically, AT&T uh, shut down their uh, gateway June 17th, so you no longer have the ability from Niagara to send out alarms to text message using this email to text gateway. Um, we haven't had a great solution for this problem. Um, there are solutions that make use of cellular routers. So we'll have a future video that will show you how to use a Teltonica router and some functionality that's built into the router itself in order to get close to this functionality. But there's another way that doesn't use text, but it does use push notifications that you're all used to on your phones anyways, and that is an application called Pushover. And what it is is you install this little app on your phone, you create an account, you log into the, the uh, app using that account, and then from the account you have a special email address. Put that email address into Niagara like you're used to doing, and then you'll get a notification a push notification on your phone, so either Android, iPhone, iPad, or desktop browser, and you'll get the notification when an alarm comes in as you're used to. Um, one thing to note with this is that it does come with a 30-day free trial when you create an account, but uh, in order to continue using it after that 30 days, there's a one-time in-app purchase that you use on each of the platforms that you may be using it on. So if you only use it on your iPhone, it's a $5 in-app purchase in order to get this functionality. I feel like it's probably worthwhile depending on your use case and it's certainly worth checking out at least for that 30-day free trial. So let's get started and give it a shot. So I'm going to log in to my account real fast. I've already created an account. If you... Um, don't have an account, which I wouldn't expect you to, um, you can create one very easily. They don't ask for any uh, payment information or anything like that, so you can totally try it for 30 days without worrying about getting charged if you forget that you created the account. So I'll log in here, and you'll see when I do, very um, front and center is this special email address that I can use in order to send my push notifications directly from email. So I'm gonna copy that email address and then I'm gonna jump over into Niagara and in my alarm service, I have a very, very simple setup. I've got a, a Boolean point, which when it goes true, it sends out an alarm and that alarm has the test text alarm class and it is going uh, through this um, wire sheet to the email recipient where I'm going to put in my special email address and I'm going to hit save and everything is set up and finished in Niagara. What I do need to do is go to my phone now and I'm going to jump over into my pushover app uh, the links for the iPhone and Android version are on the homepage of uh, Pushover, which is just pushover.net. So I will hit the Pushover app and I will log in here. And put in my password. I am putting in a password here. You just can't see it. And then I'm going to register my device. I'll just leave it as iPhone as is. It's going to say, hey, you, you set up your device. Uh, you have a 30-day free trial that you can use now. And here's your code. And again, here's that special email address if you want to use it. So I will throw that message away because I don't need it. One thing before I test this alarm, I will show you is that if you go into the gear icon in the top right, and if you scroll up to the top, the um, purchase pushover license is kind of hidden. It's this button right here. If you wanted to continue using it after the 30 day free trial, you would just hit that button and you would have access to do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sleep my phone now so that um, I'm just on my lock screen. All right, so now I'm just gonna trigger this alarm to fire. 
and give it a couple seconds. And there you go. I have a notification on my phone. It shows up exactly as I expect uh, that text message that came in before and the exact same way it would look as if it came in through an email. Um, I get all the information that was set up in the alarm and everything works exactly the way it did before with very, very additional effort um, that was done on the Niagara side and in the uh, pushover app side as well. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Um, it's, again, not as easy as what we're used to with the email to text gateways that the cell providers used to have, but I do understand why they shut them down. Uh, very easy avenue for spammers to get to a lot of different phone numbers um, very quickly. So thanks for watching, as always. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If there's more that you'd like to see, Related to this, if you know of another way that works even easier than this, um, please let us know in the comments down below. As I mentioned before, we'll take a look at a different method of accomplishing this through through using a Teutonica router and the um, email to SMS gateway that you can run directly on the router yourself. Um, thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.